Hello, it's CNN News again. I have the pleasure to present you Mr. Eddie and Mr. Zen. I would like uh, to welcome here in our studio and I want to, to have a, a nice discussion about your program. And uh, first of all, I would like to start with uh, Mr. Reddy because he was a founder of this uh, program of All Quiet. Uh, that uh, is the title of a uh, famous book of Erich Maria. And I would like uh, to ask you, uh, what was the main purpose of when you found this uh, program? Well, I was involved in the project as a member of the board of GCWO, and it was our ambition to set up a project on the occasion of the 100-year commemoration of the war. And the project had the ambition to connect events of the past, facts, evidences, to facts and evidences nowadays. Uh, okay. Uh, Sven, uh, as a younger member of uh, this foundation, uh, what do you expect uh, from this program in, on these days? Well, I expect that the uh, youngsters would gather all from Europe, from the eight uh, delegations uh, that they come, uh, to meet each other, to talk about peace and democracy nowadays, but also the European issues that are going around uh, with the migration uh, problems we have, uh, and also other European issues we're dealing with, and that they had an open debate around it, to, to could discuss and to have uh, to put ideas uh, on the table. How many countries are participating in those programs, and uh, why you select this kind of countries? Uh, at this time, there are eight countries uh, involved, but. Um, because of the attacks we had uh, last week in Brussels, uh, only uh, four or five are here right now. The others, uh, they couldn't come. Uh, but we are very glad uh, that they are here uh, and they participate in this project. Um, it was an open call uh, we, we put around uh, uh, for the participation. So the countries who are involved, they uh, were interested enough to, to come uh, and join in this project. Uh, Mr. Verdi, as a founder of these programs, uh, what do you expect for the young generation for the future? Uh, we have similarities about the First World War or today for the refugee way? Yep. Well, we try to visit uh, some historical places and museums. Uh, we try to give some presentations as an introduction to work with the participations about the consequences um, of the events uh, then and now, and that's our ambition. Okay. Uh, Sven, you suggest to the young people to participate in that kind of programs, and to what benefits they get from their participation of this? Well, first of all, they meet each other, they meet uh, other youngsters from other countries, and also um, they can talk about, for instance, how the media reports about the European crises as we have, so like the migration crisis or the financial crisis, they can talk about it and how do the, what is the perception of the people in their country, what is the perception of the youngsters. So if they uh, talk to each other, they can uh, change from ideas and to compare if there are like differences or similarities in you know, really the perception of, uh, of Europe they have. I understand. Uh, Eddie, that uh, program is like a staircase because uh, they have uh, parts and parts. Uh, you plus part in every six months. So we have uh, another plant or, or another step on this, on this staircase on the summer. What is uh, the plan for the summer? For the what summer, is? yeah. Um, well, I try to say what we are intended to do. I'm not in sure for the moment. Um, but we try to have an excursion uh, to uh, the Western Front uh, once again, just like um, last year. But we are intended to visit uh, Talbot House, who is uh, a house um, um, for uh, was a house for soldiers and an all ranks house. Um, then we try to have a little jump over the border to France and then to connect uh, some remains to the Battle of Verde and Somme. 
um, and also it's nearly sure um, we ha will have some uh, presentation about the role of the Belgian Red Cross in war. Um, it started with chaos uh, and a few main months later um, in the sands of the dunes at the Belgian coast and with the help um, behind the scenes uh, of uh, Queen Elizabeth and the Herods of London, uh, they raised uh, a hospital, the Queen's Hospital, um, on university level uh, in, in war, uh, at 10 kilometers of the front. Um, and also the role of the International Red Cross uh, in all uh, kinds of events nowadays. Um, that are two uh, items uh, nearly, that are nearly sure. Okay, okay. Is, uh, is Leonardo are satisfied about uh, the success of this program? And uh, uh, how you can uh, make an open invitation again? to the other people because we have a financial crisis. It is very impressive that we have so many people from other countries here in your program. Yes, I am very satisfied that uh, uh, all those participants from all those countries came uh, and I hope uh, in July we will be with a full team again and every, every delegation will come uh, to Brussels. Um, uh, I have to say that uh, uh, during the meeting we will also have like sports and leisure activities uh -huh. Uh -huh. and we will visit Bruges so the program will be uh, a little bit educational but also on the animation thing. Uh, so we offer a great variation of all kinds of activities. Yeah, it will be a vi variety. Uh, on this uh, training it was the purpose to, have to write a handbook for teachers so it's uh -huh. a little bit more educational but uh, in the summertime, it's also a summer camp and a vacation for the youngsters who will come from the other country. Little broader, little lighter. So, why do you suggest everyone uh, to come here in Luen? Also, it is a message to the terrorists to face to face uh, the truth and to, to despise of the terrorist uh, uh, attacks uh, to come here to present with their uh, presences. Uh, that they don't afraid the terrorist attacks and uh, we fight the terrorists uh, with ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have to be careful, we have to be vigilant, but we don't have to be afraid. Thank you very much. It's CNN News. I'm Panos Vigios. I see you again at the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs>